Curtis Calhoun here with MMA News, and my next guest is coming off of a big win on Dana White's Contender Series. It's Jamal Pogues, who earned a contract on Tuesday night with a win over Paolo Hinato Jr. How's it going, Jamal? Oh, good. Yourself? I'm doing very well. I appreciate the time once again. Uh, first things first, man, uh, your manager told me that you had a tattoo appointment yesterday. Uh, what did you get to uh, celebrate the big win? Uh, I got a, uh, it's just a mural of like, uh, you know, just everything that's happened in the last two years. I got, uh, I got my mom's name with the ribbon, you know, just fighting the cage. It just, I just made like a more mural type tattoo and I just got it done on my chest. I got you, man. And uh, how, speaking of which, uh, how are your family and friends uh, reacting to your win and uh, getting that contract? You know, uh, <laughs> I was back for two days and everyone was going crazy. Like I said, we live in a small city, you know, so it's not a big city. And it's not a lot of people that make it out. So, you know, it's definitely, you know, it's definitely just a lot of love coming back, you know, for the last couple of days. Did your mom get a chance to watch the fight? Oh, my mom watched it. She was, uh, she was more happy. Um, I got to call her that night. She was crying that night. But then when I finally came back to California, you know, we just sat down and talked and you know, like she said, she was like, she was just more proud of me, you know, and like, she know, she was glad that I never gave up. And like, I really went through this and I changed my life around. So I think mean, she was just more happy that like, that, that, like, I finally did something, you know, not like did something, but like, I'm there, you know, and I persevered and I made mm. it through and I finally got the contract. Absolutely, man. And um, does it feel surreal just a few days later? I, I guess a few days after your win, uh, how would you reflect on your performance? Uh, you know, honestly, I'm not going to say I was more happy to be out there. You know, definitely should have went for a finish. And, and, you know, but overall, it just I just felt so good just to be back. You know, just the whole I embrace everything that we you know, definitely with the media and everything, it's just more embracing th- everything. But definitely felt like, you know, definitely should have been a finish. There's a few times where there was a lot more openings that I didn't go for. Um, and, but it was just, honestly, I was just having fun out there. Like, I was just smiling the whole time because it was just, I was like, man, I'm back. And I was just so happy just to go out there and compete. Yeah, because this was your second stint on Contender Series, right? So do you feel like you were a little bit more prepared for the media, the extra attention? Obviously, uh, fighting on a stage like that is really big. Do you feel like you were more prepared for everything that came with it? I say definitely, because the first time I didn't expect as much media, I should say. Uh, Like the first time when I was on there, you know, I was like, oh, man, it's just, you know, I'm Contenders. I'm not a UFC Mm -hmm. guy. You know, I'm just going to go out there. I'm just going to compete and, you know get my contract, and I didn't expect so much media and so much attention, you know, going into it. So this time, it definitely prepared me. So I was definitely more calm and more embracing of everything this time. And then in terms of uh, yourself as a fighter, what do you feel like is is the biggest difference between the Jamal that uh, had that first stint with Contender Series compared to your win on Tuesday night? What do you feel like has been the biggest difference in your training and just your fighting style? I think it's just uh, – more confidence. Um, I'm a lot more calmer. You know, that's one thing, you know, my mom and my dad, we talked about, uh, you know, about my fight was, you know, and a lot of people said that, you know, if you watch my career, you know, usually you see me from the beginning to the end. <clears throat> I'm just pushing the pain. And I felt like this time more around, I was more calm. Even though still, I was throwing a lot, you know, it was a lot of strikes thrown. You know, but it was still it was more more calm in the sense of, you know, fighting. And instead of me just trying to go balls to the ball and then empty my gas tank out, it was just like I was I was in there. I was being smart. I mean, I took some kicks. So I wasn't that smart, but I definitely calmed myself down more mentally when I was up there. And then you mentioned uh, after the fight how the long-term plan is to move back down to uh, light heavyweight. Obviously, for this fight, uh, you were competing a heavyweight. Do you feel like light heavyweight is is your long-term home? Yeah, you know, um, honestly, you know, we were sitting back getting ready for uh, – before I even got the fight, I should say, even, you know, everybody – I was talking to everybody, and I was like uh, – by this point, like I said, I just really started hitting training, like, again at, in January. And, you know, like I said, I was really big, you know, like 275, 280. And, you know, and I was working my way down slowly but surely. 
And then eventually, you know, I started talking to everybody and I was like, you know what, I'm going to start making this cut down to 205. Obviously, the weight was coming down just by me training. But then, you know, I told everybody, let's start, I'm going to take it more seriously. I'm going to start getting this weight more down. And I told him, I was like, let's, let's try to get in by the end of the year. And next thing you know, the way life and everything works out, hey, um, we got a fight on contender series in like four and a half weeks. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, damn. Uh, like, um, 205? They're like, no heavyweight. And I was like, all right, I'll take it. Let's do it. Like, let's, let's take the fight. And it's, you know, it's more so like that. So it definitely wasn't my thing to go out there and fight heavyweight. That's not my long term plan, but it just kind of the circumstance. And, you know, you kind of don't say no to the UFC. When you, and, you know, definitely being out for two years, you kind of you try to take whatever opportunity you can get because, you know, you're just trying to put your name right back out there. Yeah, I totally got you, man. I think I saw on your Instagram, too, that you got a chance to uh, meet Deontay Wilder after the fight. Uh, what was that whole experience like? Uh, it was actually fun. We talked for a long time, honestly. <laughs> Even the UFC eventually was like, hey, like, he still has more media to do, so he has yeah. to go. <laughs> um, uh, Deontay Wilder, honestly, was just giving me a lot of advice. So, you know, he was telling me, like, good things like my jab, you know. Um, he said I need to use my right hand more. And then he told me, he's like, guys, like he said, for a lot of MMA guys in the sport, he's like, they don't have a job like that. He said, that's going to be your key to victory. He's like, don't care what anybody say. He said, I don't care if I'm a boxer. Like, that's going to be your key to victory. And, you know, after that, you know, he was just telling me to just keep my head on straight. You know, he said, a lot of things are going to happen now because, you know, he said, you finally here at the big show. So he's like, when you finally make it here, you're going to see how a lot of people change up. And he just kept telling me. So he just kind of gave me just, you know, just more of a, I guess more advice of a human being as a person and what to prepare for as I like, you know, continue in the UFC.